Meet Edwin and Magda, founders of Artisan Coffee, an independent coffee shop chain and coffee school based in West London. Their story is one of adventure. You've just got to keep pushing and driving through. Be amazed at what result you can achieve. And determination. In all of those challenges that have come up, really good entrepreneurs are the ones that can see opportunity in them. My name is Palvi, founder of In Pursuit Daily. We create videos on incredible and talented individuals who have created their own version of success. Now back to Edwin and Magda and how they got started in the world of business. We started Artisan in 2011. Previous to that, our background was sort of different to coffee. So my background is corporate HR, Edwin's is business development. So we did the sort of nine to five thing, as you do, and worked for various different jobs. And then took a year out in Uganda and did development work. I worked with a vocational education school. Edwin worked with beekeepers in the mountains, which was amazing. And we had the year of sort of doing our own sort of projects, our own little babies and decided there that we didn't want to return to the normal nine to five. We found that when we were in Australia working in sort of big corporate businesses that any interesting decision got sort of passed up to the level above you. Mm -hmm. And when we started working in Uganda, we got given a blank piece of paper and sort of said set up a beekeeping project or set up a vocational education centre. And that meant our failures were our failures and our successes were our successes. But what we really learnt over there where the work was hard and tough and dusty and hot mm -hmm. compared to what we had in Australia where everything was, we had all the mod cons, mm -hmm. was for the first time in our lives we were truly motivated. We wanted to, these projects to succeed. And I think it was identifying that feeling for the first time that was really quite empowering to us. And we were like, whatever we do going forward, we want to always be motivated. Mm -hmm. We want to have that thing that drives us. They recognized an opportunity in something that they love to drink every day. Why coffee? I'm from Australia. The independent coffee industry is just so strong that we decided there wasn't that much in southwest London when I first came over. Right, okay. And we thought we'd, we'd give it a go, really. But despite their hard efforts, it wasn't smooth sailing to get that independent coffee shop off the ground. Where we struggled was actually some of the practical elements of finding a location. Without any hospitality experience, without yeah. any sort of track record, we found it very hard for landlords to take us seriously and we kept losing out on lease negotiations so we ended up when we got back from Uganda there was a nine month gap between us um, landing back in the UK and starting the first artisan and during that time we weren't earning and so I remember we, we, we Magda in the end we decided we'd have to go back to work and um, she got her dream job in sort of um, the refugee council for HR uh, just at the same time we got the first lease Okay. We went out to dinner and we had to decide whether Meg was going to take this job or whether we would crack on and try and get Artsan off the ground. And fortunately we decided to give it one more go with Artsan. <laughs> but it was getting really difficult to, to pay the bills, to get it all, all, all making work because during that, during that sort of planning phase, if yeah. you're not full-time employed, you, it's just very, very tough. And you don't want to make a... Location is such an important decision that you don't want to make a rushed decision, yeah. but at the same time you have other pressures going on. With the challenges they were facing at the time, I wondered if they had ever considered building their business with a recognised brand by opening a coffee shop franchise instead. For us, I think part of the entrepreneur journey and the excitement behind it and the reason why is it's all about the, the creation of your own identity, your own brand, yeah. your, your own baby. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you go for a franchise, then you literally get given a guidebook of how to do it. For us, the adventure is in the mistakes, it's in mm -hmm. the journey, and it's in mm -hmm. the sort of the creating. So I think that's where um, the motivation comes from, rather than maybe, I'm not saying it's an easier option, but taking a different option where a lot of that creation has already been done for you and you're just rolling out a business mm -hmm. model. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think is most exciting about being an entrepreneur is um, the fact that you know it's, it's never static. You constantly learn and you evolve. And for us, we want to be challenged. We want to have that exciting element of creating. And I think that's the exciting part, our own sort of as I've been said, mistakes, but also ability to go in any direction we please. At the time of setting up Artisan, businesses in the UK were still recovering from the 2008 economic recession. Launching a coffee shop brand naturally came with some risk. I wanted to know what their mindset was at the time and what led them to continue working towards their dream. I think we had our hearts set on this okay. um, right from the start. Yes, 
there was a recession and so on and so forth. But I honestly think that in all of those challenges that have come up, really good entrepreneurs are the ones that can see opportunity in them. And all you think is if there's a recession, maybe there's more properties available to lease. Maybe there's a better location you can get. Yeah. Um, turn and this effect around. Yeah. You're trying to turn it around and try. I mean, because setting up your own business, it is it is really hard, and there are challenges coming up every day almost. Um, some of them small, some of them very significant and big. Um, but you've just got to keep pushing and driving through with a smile and energy, and you'll be amazed at what results you can achieve. And so they did. Artisan opened its first coffee shop in Putney. They differentiated themselves by creating a unique selling point in their signature artisan coffee, while creating a relaxed vibe to add to the customer experience. Customers have driven our sort of direction in different ways, whether it's the menu, what we do, how we operate. But they weren't quite done yet. Entrepreneurs at heart, they were ready for the next big thing, and so set their sights towards growing their mini empire. So when we developed the shops and we grew from sort of one to two to three, at the time, a lot of people were roasting. So you would go into their coffee shop and they were roasting in the corner and, and doing amazing things. We weren't at the stage of, of being able to roast at that time, but we knew we wanted to do something different yeah. because in the industry it was becoming a little bit samey. So we decided that the thing that we were most passionate about and loved the most was training. So we created the, the Artisan Coffee School. We teach everything from sort of a basic home brew, how to do a cafeteria at home, to all the way through to brewing, barista, roasting, sensory. We almost wanted the next sort of motivating thing and, and that's why we looked at the coffee school and the coffee school ticks a lot of boxes because it gets you out in the community it makes you sort of a voice for the industry and also it's just genuinely exciting to watch people learn about coffee and open their eyes up into this wonderful world be it going down a sensory path or to learning about farms or learning about the roasting process they learn it's no longer just press a button and hope the coffee comes mm -hmm. out but it's this whole industry that can go in so many different directions i wanted to know what advice they had for entrepreneurs just starting out. It's a bit standard but I think you really do need a business plan mm -hmm. um, and you need to write it for yourself um, not for somebody else and it needs to be very practical and um, with all the steps that you think you need to do to achieve it and within that business plan has to be something um, has to be your vision but also ingrained in that needs to be your unique selling point the reason why your business is going to differentiate itself from everybody else. Don't just be another cookie cutter, but be something that's going to push a boundary, that's going to spark some imagination that the customer is going to buy into, understand, and then want to talk about. Mm -hmm. And if you manage to hit those things, then you'll find that the community can actually do a lot of the advertising for you because I think in this sort of day and age, people want small independent businesses to survive. Not only that, they want them to thrive. Mm -hmm. So they, they do help you. But for that to happen, you need to have a product or you need to have a service. And it goes right back to the beginning. You need to deliver amazing customer service with a fantastic product and a smile. When setting out to create your own business, whatever that may be, for us, the most important thing when being sort of partners, I guess, is that you're on the same page, that you share the same vision. We always had the plan to have more than one. And then eventually our business plan evolved and changed into the coffee school, as well as the roastery, which we've developed. So we've always had the next step inside. And the team becomes by far the most important attribute to you mm -hmm. because they represent you. And that means you've got to really care for who works for you and you've got to look after them, you've got to nurture them. In return, it, it, it pays huge dividends. With everything I had learned today, it was clear that both Edwin and Magda were motivated by something deep and personal to them. It got me thinking about success and what that meant to the two entrepreneurs. What would you say success means to both of you? Um, I think this is a really nice question, by the way. I think success is, to me, it's about being really proud of what you're doing and what you've done and what you've achieved and if I look at the shops or I look at the roastery um, Curious Roo or the, or the school it, it fills me with pride it, it really does I think whatever you do if you can look back and think god I'm proud that happened or I'm proud, proud I achieved that I think that is success much more so than bottom line profits or anything like mm -hmm. that that's just a, a consequence of, of building something you're incredibly 
Yeah. So I think just making sure you still love it day in, day out, that you still have the passion for what you do, all the little details that come into creating a perfect coffee shop mm -hmm. at Brestory or School. We could have very easily sat back and stayed in those corporate jobs um, and gone okay. But this was a risk and it's been an adventure and it's been a journey and we've loved it and we've loved the highs and the lows and and I think I would advise anyone to to go for it you're, you're only here once give it a go um, and and see and see what happens and if you have some of the fundamentals like a strong vision and a good unique selling point then there's absolutely no reason why mm -hmm. you shouldn't be able to achieve